Hello again. Welcome to the conversation. Excuse me. Good afternoon, people. How are you? Well, that time of the year when people get to acting a fool, fighting in line, trying to get gifts, is upon us once again. But for the past few years, I haven't actually felt in the so-called Christmas spirit. And uh, I wondered why. So I had to investigate. Is it me? Is it other people? What is it? And uh, an interesting thing happened one day when I was at work at my night job. I was sweeping. And I accidentally bumped the broom up against somebody's foot. And as usual, as Negroes usually do, they grab, snatch the broom from me and spit on it. And I'm like, really? <laughs> you you just spit on a broom. What what's that all about? And like, man, you gonna give me bad luck. But just earlier during that shift, I heard them invoke the name of God. Now that made me think about what I was thinking about earlier, previously. Have I lost my Christmas spirit? And the answer is yes, I have lost my Christmas spirit. And I'm going to tell you why. For the same reason that person spit on the broom and then want to holler, oh God, about something different earlier that day. Same reason. Hear me out. You cannot, you cannot be superstitious and believe in God. That's just my personal opinion. I don't know if other people feel that way. Maybe, maybe not. But that's the way I feel about the situation. You cannot be superstitious and still believe in God. And the reason why I feel that way is because God, Jesus, let's put it this way. Jesus is the manifestation of God on earth. He healed the sick, made the dead rise, turned water into wine. I'm sure, I'm almost positive that in his uh, Rolodex of gifts and powers that if you are a good soul, he's not going to let a calamity fall upon you because a broom hit your foot. He's not going to condemn you to hell because... A broom hit your foot and you didn't spit on it immediately. That's bull crap. That's just straight bull crap. You cannot, I'm going to say this again, because I don't think y'all hearing me. You cannot be superstitious and believe in God. No, life don't work like that. It, it, certain situations in life, it's an either or. Unless you figure out some way to split yourself in half where you can go in a northern direction and a southern direction at the same exact time. I'm pretty sure there's some rule in science that says no two objects can occupy the same space at the same exact time. I'm just saying. But, um... I've lost my Christmas spirit. Christmas is not the same for me. It hasn't been for many years. And I feel like that 
that one uh, that one passage in the Bible that says you can, can't serve two masters? Yeah, well, uh, I'm not going to serve Jesus and Santa Claus. That's just not going to happen. So it, me, me personally, if I had to pick one over the other, I would rather teach my children that, yeah, if you behave yourself, then maybe God will bless us. Maybe Jesus will bless us and you'll get your gifts. But to tell a straight up lie and say, oh, you better behave. Otherwise, Santa Claus won't give you any gifts. You're lying to the kids. You, as an, as a, an adult, are teaching your children to lie. But then you turn around years later and you get mad at your kids when they break your stuff and lie about it. Well, how did this get broke? I don't know. The cat was on the counter. We don't even have a cat. Well, maybe it was a ghost. Wait, what? Do you understand what I'm saying now? You see the pattern of craziness that I'm, I've laid out. It's just stupid. What is the problem with grown people Believing in God, God, pretending to believe in God. Yeah, I said it. Pretending to believe in God. But yet, come Christmas, it's all about Santa Claus, St. Nick. For all we know, St. Nick was prejudiced. He probably didn't even like black people. But on a whole, on a whole, as a religion, as a religious practice, as a Christian... You mean to tell me that there are a host of people out there that go to church, but yet and still, they will teach their children to believe in Santa Claus. He will grant you gifts if you believe in him. Well, I don't buy that. And even if there is a such creature as a Santa Claus, in what world, in what reality is Santa Claus more powerful than Jesus Christ, than God Almighty, than Yahweh? Call him whatever name you want to call him. But there is no way. And I haven't read the whole entire Bible, but I'm pretty sure there is no way that there's a scripture anywhere that says God's real name is Saint Nick. <laughs> I refuse to believe that bull crap. So please, for the love of God, if you truly are a Christian, you truly believe in God, stop lying. Stop teaching your children to lie if you don't want them to lie to you. I, I don't get it. It's it's real simple. Just stop doing the same thing that your parents did to you. Parents lie to their children. The children grow up. They lie to their children. And it doesn't make any sense. You're a grown person. You know it was a lie, but yet you purposely lie. Isn't one of the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not lie? With the exception of Christmas. I'm pretty sure that was in the Bible. I must have overlooked that. I I have to find my Bible and, and, and look look through there again. But I'm I'm pretty sure it says, Thou shalt not lie except for Christmas. You're making a false idol. If you truly are, call yourself a Christian. You're making a false idol out of Christmas Kringle, whatever the heck his name is, whatever you want to call him. Santa Claus. Now that's not right. You, <laughs> the spirit of 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 lying, is upon your children because you put it there, you installed it in them. In you, man. <sighs> See, as you get older and you start learning the truth about certain things. It, it's either going to make you 
want to continue to lie when you have kids or it's going to make you not want to deal with that situation at all. And I personally wouldn't want to deal with that situation. Now, I've talked to friends, co-workers that have kids, and they think I'm crazy. They say that Christmas is for the children, and it's no big deal. It's not for adults. And on that particular point, yeah, I do believe that Christmas is for the children, not for adults. But at the same time, if we're adults, we're messing these kids up by constantly teaching them lies. Why? Because it sounds good. What's wrong with believing in God? What's wrong with believing Jesus Christ was the Messiah? If that's your thing. If you believe he was a messenger. A prophet. If that's your thing, then that's your thing. But. Pick a side. Don't say you believe in God. You believe in Jesus Christ. You believe in the power of Jesus Christ, but you superstitious. You believe in the Easter Bunny. You believe that if the kids are good, Santa Claus will give them a gift. And then the kids grow up. And they find out that Santa Claus isn't real. That this whole time it was their mother and their father. Well, the reason why it was mommy and daddy this whole time is because the powers that be blessed them with the finances to get those gifts. It had nothing to do with Santa Claus. I've never heard of a scripture that says Santa Claus turned water into wine. Yeah, he a fat, jolly person <laughs> was able to stuff himself down a chimney. But not all houses have chimneys. So I guess he, he pulled a Doctor Who in and uh, came through the door. I don't know. It it's, makes no sense to me. And I can't subscribe to that. No. No. I, mm -mm, nah. Now... I'm not trying to ruin everybody's Christmas. But that's just my opinion. So. My Christmas gift to the world. If you really truly want peace on earth and goodwill t towards men. Mankind. Stop the unnecessary lying. First of all. Let's call it what it is. If you try to live uh, uh, what they call a righteous life if you try to live a decent life and treat your fellow man with some decency then I believe that you will be blessed you'll be blessed with finance to pay your bills you'll be blessed with being surrounded by, by people with like minds People who want to see you do good. People who can inspire you to do better in life. And if you have children, I also believe that you'll be able to take care of your kids. You'll be happy with yourself. You'll be happy with your family situation. And that you can overcome all obstacles. But to put it all on, to basically kick Jesus to the curb for one day no when is that ever right you're going to take Jesus birthday which from what I understand that's not actually his birthday but that's not the point the point is December 25th has nothing to do with, <laughs> with Saint Nick and every so called religious leader knows this and I'm not even deeply religious. I haven't been to church in God knows when. 
Do I believe in God? Yes, I do believe there's a God. Do I believe Jesus was the messenger of God? Yes, I do believe Jesus was the messenger of God. His powers? Uh, it's debatable. I wasn't there. I can't say it happened or it didn't happen. But what I do know is that if it came down to it, I would believe in Jesus Christ before I believe in Santa Claus. All right. I'll talk to y'all later.